right and so before the pastor comes to preach we have praise and worship and praise and worship is about ushering the people into the presence of the Lord it takes you from the physical realm into the spiritual realm that element of my upbringing it's in my blood it's in my bones and I think it does come across in music I'm very I guess reactive performer I feel like I've never felt like I've lost a calling to want to take people to church, but what shifted was, was my identity. I began to question God and who I was, and, and I felt like the church didn't really make space for that. Um, and so I felt like the only option was for me to leave, and now I realise that's not, not the case. Like, God never left my music. God never left me. That move is ridiculous. The, come on now. The dunk dunk get the go go. I said, come on, shoulders. I'm coming home. Ba 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 ba. Da da da. Recreate the time. So in 2008, I put my debut EP out in Jodie's bedroom. And then there was quite a bit of hype around it. Giles Peterson got behind it, got a worldwide award. Uh, Mark Manson heard it and then invited me on the road with him. So I did that for about two and a half years. And after that tour, I got signed to a major record company. And it was just a struggle. It was like, yeah, 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 hype, hype, hype. Yeah, we love the way you perform. And it was like, yeah, yeah, great, great, yeah. Here's my music. And it was like, no, 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 that's not what's hot, right? It's <laughs> like, so, wait, what have I just had before? You've all dug my shit up until this point. So what's changed? Well, what you realise is it's a business, right? You're a product. And if they can't make you fit the market, what they have in their minds, then they'll just find someone who will. And that strong person that I portrayed myself to be was not strong enough to take that rejection. And I was like, how am I gonna do this? I was in New York at the time. Got a loop pedal and I just started playing and I just started doing like little gigs in little bars <laughs> and just like building myself up again. I wrote loads of new stuff. By the time I got back to London, I had a huge pile of demos. So I found myself back in the studio just making music with my people. We would jam, rework and go again and it was the most beautiful week. It was like a purge of what went before. And I think I feel safe and brave enough to be myself as a human, as an artist, a woman, a queer woman, a black woman, you know, the list goes on. Um, but I'm sorry, man, I, I sing songs, I, I write songs and that's me, babes. Yeah.